slabbers. We are going to do a quick unboxing. Why are we doing an unboxing? Why am I doing one tonight? Well, two reasons. One, CBC Awards are coming up on Saturday. Support uh, the award show. Brian LCS puts on a nice little thing. And um, pop in there. It's uh, it's fun and uh, it's it's some, some good stuff. So that's on Saturday, December 3rd. The other thing. I was talking online uh, today with Cyclotron. Cyclotron, if you're watching, you know, I hope you don't mind me sharing, but you were saying you, you like the videos, you like the She-Hulks, you like the Campbells. And I, I said to you, I go, you know what? I've been holding off on doing an unboxing of a really cool Campbell. And, uh, and I need to do that. And um, so I promised Cyclotron I would, I would do the unboxing. I would show off this Campbell. So... Here we are. And I think, uh, I don't know if I talked about this before. This is going to actually be from a comic, comic link order. And it's going to be a couple books. I think, I think this was a decent sized order. So uh, we'll build up to the big Campbell book. But I believe the Campbell book was kind of the, the main prize, if you will. The grand prize of uh, the day. So we'll see this. Oh, by the way. You know what that is? That's a new computer. And the goal is going to be to uh, have a computer where I can do editing. Because my computer right now sucks. I have to restart it like twice a day right now because it keeps crashing. Um, I mean, it was a great computer in, in uh, 2015 when I got it. But uh, I don't know. It's like leaking memory or something. Something goofy with it. Um, and... Uh, I can't do that editing. It's it's like the memory, the working memory isn't allowing me to do it. So this is going to be hopefully a solution to some of that. Um, you know, whether or not I can actually figure out how to do the editing, I guess will be the, the next uh, uncertainty. So we'll have to see what happens with that. All right. So let me get out the, any identifying information. Because no reason for that to be out here. And then we're going to see... Okay, what did I get here? A couple things. Let me put this off to the side as a reference. So the first thing I have here is... Uh, and this was just a good price. I think I've talked about before. This is a Warren Lau cover. I like Lau. Um, I think he does, he does cool art. This is Batman 89 with the uh, KRS comic edition. So KRS does these limited editions along with... Um, Comic Mint, and I forget the other one, but I think there's three of these places that do it. And uh, Warlow, Batman, kind of reminded me that the cover, uh, let me know in the comments if you agree on this. But I, I thought, to me, that kind of looks like Natalie Dormer a little bit. Natalie Dormer was the uh, actress who played uh, Marjorie Tyrell on uh, Game of Thrones. And, uh, and I thought she was cute, so... I, that's probably why I bought this book. Anyways, cool cover. Um, so there's that. Next is another Campbell, and we're going to hold off on that one. Because I, for, I forgot about that one. So there's actually two Campbells that I got in this order. Um, a big one, and then a kind of okay one, uh, at least. Oh, never mind. There's more Campbells that are now appearing. I, when was the invoice on this thing? This was uh, da, 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 da. Uh, this was a month ago, so I've already forgotten everything that was in this thing. Um, that's another Campbell, and another Campbell. Sheepers. we got a lot of Campbells going on. So apparently, the rest of this order, there's four more comics, and I believe they're all Campbells. So in no particular order. Uh, this is Venom number eight. And let's see, this is a variant edition... Uh, uncanny X-Men variant photo. So, I don't know. Um, it's Campbell. You know, I, I like how he draws Jean Grey. It's a good storm. Yeah, but what, Magneto looks like, uh, is that Magneto? I don't know. I, my X-Men lore is not great. Someone can correct me on that. Colossus, Bish, Colossus Bishop, uh, Iceman. So anyways, uh, that's a cool Campbell cover, but that is the least big cover in this order. So what's, so we're going to work our way up. That was Venom number eight. What's our next, come on. What's our next, nothing wrong with that cover by the way, by the way, it's a variant, it's Campbell. Those always tend to uh, project upwards. 
Uh, the next one we're going to do is Danger Girl number one. Um, I hadn't had, I didn't have this. Uh, so first Danger Girl, I believe this is just the, the base cover, but good cover. Early Campbell, when was this? This was 98, 1998. So this book now is, wow, 24 years old. Anyone else starting to feel old? Danger Girl is 24 years old. Which is probably about how old the actual Danger Girl was in the uh, Danger Girl comics. Anyways, so that's Danger Girl. So we have two left. Kind of a medium one and then a big one. So let's go with the medium one. The medium one. Uh, I got this for, uh, I think, a great deal. I got this for $110. I think this has sold over $200 for over $200 before. Um, yeah, there you go. No, that's not it. Uh, this is the Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number two. It's a variant. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. So this is, I believe this is, you know, there's a another similar um, Campbell to this, which is the more valuable one. I forget what the edition was off the the uh, top of my top of, tip of my tongue, but um, here you go. You got Black Cat, Mary Jane, Spider Man. So Amazing Spider Man, Renew Your Vows, number two. Great cover, great Campbell cover. I think classic. All right. So what's left? What's left is a Campbell. Limited to 500. There are only 500 of these produced. And this is the, um, ooh, it came in my LR, so that's nice. Um, there were only 500 of these produced. And um, there's two editions. Uh, there's a variant of this, which is uh, only limited to 100. And at some point, I'd like to get the 100. It's called the Redhead variant. Um, I think it's called the Redhead variant, I should say. Uh, but these were produced by Blue Rainbow, uh, who had an agreement with Campbell. Um, this is a Zenoscope Call of Wonderland, issue one. Uh, here it is, actually on the back, so you know I wasn't lying. I didn't even know it said this when I was talking. Limited to 500. So pretty, pretty limited for a Campbell. So what's the big deal with this, right? What's the big deal with this? I think this is some of his best art. And I think this is everything a Campbell collector wants. It's limited. Um... It's good art, and um, and let's just see what it is. So, here you go. It's the Blue Rainbow exclusive uh, J. Scott Campbell cover, Virgin cover, and this is called the Blonde Edition. Um, and there you go. And there's this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out of the mylar for a second. And I don't know. I always wonder how how much you can see. I think this will show. But look at that detail. So. So this is drawn specifically that the skirt, the skirt only goes to here, right? This is like a mesh um, overhang on the skirt, but but it's incredible detail and kind of amazing that they put that much detail into that skirt, right? Like that's meant to be mesh. And from a distance, I think it just like, oh, she's wearing a skirt, you know, whatever. But But yeah, that's pretty... I don't know. Maybe I'm just nerding out about it. I just think that's incredible art. Um, but yeah, this is it. I think it's it's a great Campbell uh, look. Just everything. As a Campbell guy, I could not be happier to have this in my collection. Um, I wanted this forever. And, um, and now I got it. And I got it in auction for a good price. You know, not a great price. I wish it would have gone less, but it could have gone for a lot more too. So I, I look at that and I'm happy uh, that I got this in my collection. Like I've been saying in the past couple videos, you know, there's a couple, you know, I, I got to I gotta draw back on some things. There's some stuff going on where I just, I just need to, I need to prioritize things a little bit differently uh, and be a little bit more conservative on a couple things but before I did that there were a couple I wanted to knock off get in my collection there's just a couple left you know I have those 14 She-Hulks give or take I have um I'd really like to get a Spider-Man 194 uh ASM 194 so there's just a couple more where I can feel like I can walk away and, and feel pretty complete but anyways uh that's the collection for tonight guys thanks so much for watching again comic link unboxing total of one two three four five six 
books. Four of them were Campbell's. Um, CBC Awards are uh, coming up on on uh, Saturday, uh, December 3rd. And that's all I have. Everybody, have a great night. Take care.